What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have got probably one of the most anticipated players released in Dream Team yet. Sorry about the throat as well lads. I'm still a little, I don't know man, I've just been uh, doing a lot and my voice is struggling. But yeah, we have got Patrick Vieira here. He is going to be an absolute broken beast. Let me just tell you that. We're going to get into him now as well. Of course, he's going to have a booster that is going to boost a lot of his physicality and uh, his stamina and stuff like that. So we'll take a look at him. We also have Petr Cech. A lot of people are waiting on a really top-class goalkeeper to come. Since Oliver Kahn, there hasn't really been another top-class keeper that has come that people have been able to have with a booster. Uh, I know there's been, you know, a couple with the with the actual, like, packs that these are these guys are in but yeah Petr Cech looks insane and there is going to be one issue I want to talk about with Petr Cech um, that I think he'll be absolutely broken once they fix the manager issue we also have anchorman Silva Gilberto Silva I remember this guy lads he was a fantastic player just a stopper and very very nice player and beside him uh, with Vieira or beside Vieira he will be you know a beast if you do decide to spin for him I mean he can still he can still pass he can still dribble he can still do everything so these are part of the pack that will be from the 20th to the 27th. And we also do have uh, the rest of the players in this pack. We'll just give a quick look at these before we get into the actual player builds of these. We're going to give you two builds for Vieira as well, boys. That's what we do. So we've got a 99 overall rated Patrick Vieira. That is without the manager boost. Obviously, that issue is still ongoing. Uh, so all of these builds that we have are going to take into consideration that the manager issue still isn't fixed. So the manager issue is essentially that before the managers used to give you a plus two to every stat. That's not actually working as intended. I have a full video on it. If you want to check it out, it will be at the end of this video to get you guys up to date. We also have a 99 overall Petr Cech, which is phenomenal, and a 97 overall Gilberto Silva. So just bear in mind, when they do fix the manager issue, you will be having Vieira that will be over 101. Uh, same with Cech, and then Silva will probably be about 100 as well, right? They're also part of this English League Guardian Defenders uh, pack. Now, there is a couple of players in here as well that are DMFs, such as Paulinho and Amarat. And we also have Van de Ven, who's quite quick, and Anderson, who's a decent centre back, as well as Pau Torres, Ruben Diaz, and our traditional goalie, Jose Sa. We also have Endo from Liverpool, this DMF. So it's kind of like a, you know, a defensive minded pack. Um, and that's where they're kind of gone with this one, right? But we are going to go straight in to a Petr Cech, right? Cech. I always remember Czech lads playing for Chelsea, obviously. And a funny story, he's actually playing ice hockey now. Look that story up, it's actually quite hilarious, right? But he goes to an 86 overall, simply as putting his booster on. His booster is going to be for catching, awareness, parrying, and reflexes. Now, I'm going to show you something very interesting with this card, right? Because when you do actually get the booster on this card, it is going to be a plus two to those stats, right? And I understand that that's probably going to be, you know, where you want to go with this card is to like really kind of bring up that parrying. But I wouldn't really worry too much about the parrying, lads, right? And I'm going to show you why. Now, also, as I said, with the manager boost, right? Check is only going to be getting his booster boost and not the manager boost. So from level one, his goalkeeper awareness in game is going to show you that it's 86 if you don't level him up. But his goalkeeper awareness, his true rating before they fix the manager issue is going to be 84. So keep that in mind when you're training these players. That's what I've done with all of these players, to be honest with you. Um, and that's why when they do actually fix the manager issue, I think that, you know, check is going to be completely broken. Like, I mean, absolutely insane. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind, right? But we are going to go over here. We do have his player skills, which is low punt, long throw and captaincy. Beautiful. You also have him here. I wish he had the helmet, man, but this is from uh, when he was 23 years of age. He's a defensive goalkeeper, unwavering form, on B rating. And, of course, he was one of the best to ever grace the Premier League between the sticks, right? But we're going to actually take a look over here, lads, at the build that we have for him. So we're over here on eFootballDB.com, and we do have um, one of the best goalkeepers in the game now, right? Now, we're taking the booster into consideration. So we have his goalkeeper awareness catching and reflexes and reach all above 90 with this boost right or 90 or above right so we're going to be getting the plus two boost to awareness catching parrying or clearing and reflexes right so that means that we can just leave that at 88 now what i will say is right is that when the manager boost right and i don't want to confuse people but when the manager boost issue is fixed we'll actually be able to get away with having a uh, goalkeeper awareness at 86 and also goalkeeper catching at 86 and then we'll be able to pop two more into that which will give us the plus four to clear it 
So essentially what we will have when they do fix this manager boost is we're going to have every single goalkeeper stat at least 90, which I don't think any goalkeeper has had that before apart from Schmeichel um, and apart from the top, top, top goalkeepers. Um, but yeah, for now, with the way that the build is, I definitely would just max out um, the goalkeeper awareness and, of course, the goalkeeper catching and the reflexes, right? That's going to give you, obviously, that's going to give you a, a really, really strong goalkeeper, 97 overall. You're still going to get the booster. You just won't get the manager boost because that is obviously still an issue. So all of these builds are using that, um, you know, at the forefront that until they fix that, the stats need to be exactly where they are. So it's one into aerial strength, nine into goalkeeper two, 12 into or one into goalkeeper one, 12 into goalkeeper two and, tr and 10 into goalkeeper three. Gilberto Silva, right? So a bit of an easier player to actually build up. We've gone for the build here of 0, 6, 4, 4, 5, 10, 13, down from left all the way down there, from passing to defending. And this is kind of an all-round anchorman, right? You can tweak this depending on where you want to go with it. And obviously, his booster is going to be um, a little bit more interesting uh, than Chex. Obviously, Chex is just for goalkeepers, right? But again, you've got Gilberto Silva here. He's actually going to have dueling, which is what Makalele had as well. Defensive awareness, tackling speed, and stamina. So that kind of changes the build of where we're going to go with this right so um i would say that the best the best way of going with this build is essentially just making him a complete monster right the biggest problem with this card well it's not really a problem i would say right but the biggest kind of thing with this card in my opinion is the fact that you do have to kind of pick um exactly where you want to go with this card in terms of training him up i personally would go just all out defense right and this is the build that we've actually finalized on which is here um, is a 6 for passing, 3 for dribbling, 4 for dexterity, 3 for lower body, 10 for aerial, and 14 for defending. Again, when they fix the manager issue and they actually confirm that, um, this build will slightly change. But you've got insane defense there. You still get the booster to the speed. Your acceleration is going to be above 70. Physical contact is at 90. The only weak part with this guy is that he's got low pass under uh, 80 and his dribbling and ball control. But to be honest with you lads, this is the traditional player that the minute you get the ball with Gilberto Silva, you're not trying to run and gun, you're not trying to touch and go, you're literally one touch pass in which he has. You've got blocker, you've got interception, you've got man marking and fighting spirit. Uh, all of these player skills are going to be brilliant and uh, you're just going to be getting the ball with him and getting rid of it as soon as possible, right? So that's, that's basically where you need to go with this card. The minute you get the ball intercepted, boom, get rid of it, give it to your creative players. And then last but not least, we have what I would consider to be one of the most broken players in the game. I think that Vieira is going to be absolutely insane. You can see here that I'm a bit disappointed with his booster, but that's the only thing that they've actually balanced here with the card, right? They've, oh, they, they have balanced that card, I think, because of that reason. Um, because I think he was going to be absolutely, you know, completely broken, right? He's getting physicality as his plus two. So contact, uh, physical contact, balance, stamina, and jumping. It's not the best one that they could have given him. I mean, if he had dueling, I think it would have been like even better. But to be honest with you, I mean, you are getting the most, like probably the most well-rounded Stryer DMF slash CMF that they have ever released, right? Now, I know that there's other players that can do the business for you in midfield. Is it worth spinning on this pack to get Vieira? I think Vieira is going to be end game. I think he's going to be going into every single squad that gets him. And uh, I mean, he's just insane, man. Even with his, his uh, player skills, right? He doesn't have blocker, okay? But if you're able to give him blocker, you will have the best DMF that still has a fairly decent engine on him and has got excellent defensive stats, but is also able to play a little bit of ball. There's nothing worse than when you are actually, you know, trying to get up and around the pitch. Yes, you can have an anchorman do the job, as we said with Gilberto Silva, where he's just sitting pretty in midfield and just getting rid of the ball. Deep line on him. We'll get into that in the live stream later. But for a box-to-box, -box, you really do need to get or a destroyer, box-to-box -box and destroyer. You really do need to be energetic, building up play, breaking up uh, your opponent's play, and everything like that, right? So we're actually going to go over here. We actually have two builds of him. The first build is the ultimate build, I would say. So we have got four into passing, four into dribbling, three into dexterity, seven into lower body and aerial strength, and then 14 into defending. Now, we won't go one more on defending here, uh, ordinarily, but because of the manager issue, we probably will go with that to get the tackling at 99, but more importantly, to get the aggression at 95, right? We're also just going to pop one into dexterity, okay? This is going to be an absolute monstrous card. You've got these physical stats. You still have tight possession, ball control, low pass, and acceleration, 
all over 80 with speed, stamina and physical contact all there in strong as well, strong stats as well. So it's it's really like you can't train this card up wrong, lads. It's an insane card and it's, it's just give him blocker. That's all you have to do. Now, if you're going for an attacking build of him, if you're just going to have him as a center midfielder and say you get Gilberto Silva or you're very happy with the anchor man that you have in midfield or you're playing a box-to-box DMF as part of a 3-5-2 uh, or something like that, which is very high energetic, you know, somebody like Enzo Fernandez or someone like that, you can actually train this guy up to be really, really dominant as well. I mean, with the player skills that he has and these stats here, which is 9, 7, 10, 8, 4, 6, 1, all the way from passing to goalkeeper 1, you're going to have, still have 90 tackling, 85 tight possession, 85 low pass, 80 speed, 90 stamina, and 87 acceleration, which is insane, as well as having 85 physical contact. And of course, we've still got the booster to go on all of these stats as well. The big one here, lads, is that you're going to have all your defensive stats pretty much at 90, apart from defensive awareness, but you're also going to be getting the boost to the balance, the stamina, and the physical contact and jump. So that is probably the best build to go with him. I would say, as ever, right, don't turn Vieira or Gilberto Silva into something that they're not. You know, Vieira is a very different player to Gilberto Silva unless you want to use them in similar positions or beside each other. So that is it for me. That's a slightly long video, but I de definitely do think that Vieira is going to be one of the most broken players in the game. If you train him up right and if you use him right, he is going to be a beast. I can't believe he has 35 levels. It's insane. His defensive stats as well as his speed and acceleration are really, really strong, but he's able to pass. He's able to move. It will obviously depend on you giving him blocker. And I would also say that I would definitely try and throw one touch pass on him as well. Um, I will say he's not like, even though I think he'll go into a lot of teams, he's not irreplaceable that if you have somebody like Davids or for me, um, I mean, I'm fairly set that I have my, you know, I use Vieira quite a lot as my CMF at the moment. Um, so he would be an upgrade on him. But yeah, he's not broken, 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 broken to the point where they couldn't release a better Vieira card, which, you know, potentially they could do. So that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out other videos and the manager issue video that'll be at the end of this video as well. Let me know on Vieira. I know a lot of people are going to be spinning for him. Will you be one of those? If so, let me know in the comments below. If not, let me know why. I'll talk to you in a bit. See you later in the live stream. Peace.